Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to design a traffic signal using the Webster's traffic signal design method. I have been given a question which states that the average normal flow of traffic on crossroads A and B during design period are 400 and 600 PSU per hour. The saturation flow values on these roads are estimated as 1250 PSU per hour and 2000 PSU per hour respectively for road A and B. The all red time required for pedestrian crossing is 12 seconds. We have to design two phase traffic signal with pedestrian crossing by Webster's method. Okay. So uh, first we will uh, first we will quickly summarize the Webster's traffic design method. So Webster's method it's an analytical approach of determining the uh, optimum signal cycle time corresponding to the least total delay to all the vehicles at the approach roads of the intersection and this optimum cycle time is given by the relation that is c0 is equal to 1.5 l plus 5 divided by 1 minus y where this l this is the total loss time and it is given as 2n plus r n is the number of phase all r is the all red time and this y it is the sum of y1 plus y2 plus so on and its value should be less or equal to 1 these y1 and y2 okay these are the ratio of q1 divided by s1 okay q1 it is the normal flow or critical lane volume uh, that is the maximum lane volume for phase one similarly q2 it will be the maximum lane volume for phase two and s1 and s2 these are the saturation flow for the respective phases if the saturation flow is not given you can calculate it by dividing uh, 3600 by time head uh, headway which will give you the saturation flow for that phase and thereafter the green time for uh, this phase first and phase second it is given as y uh, y multiplied by c0 minus l divided by capital y okay uh, so this is the general overview of the Webster's traffic design method. Now we will solve the question to better understand the concept. So in our case, the normal flow on road A, it is given as 400 PSU per hour. Normal flow on road B, it is given as 600 PSU per hour. Saturation flow on road A is equal to 150 PSU per hour and saturation flow on road B is given as 2000 PSU per hour. So for, uh, also the number of phases that we have to design a two phase traffic signal. So number of phases will be equal to all red time. Okay. Uh, it is given as 12 seconds or at uh, time is uh, the time during which all the uh, signals will show red. Okay. It is used for the pedestrian crossing. So all red time uh, or a time is equal to 12 seconds now the y a uh, for phase a it is given uh, as the normal flow divided by saturation flow for the phase a normal flow is 400 saturation flow is 1250 so it will be equal 0 0.32 similarly y b it will be equal to normal uh, flow for phase b divided by the saturation flow for phase b so its value will be equal 600 divided by 2000 which is equal 0 0.3 y capital y it will be the sum of y a plus y b so its value is equal to 0 0.62 after that total loss time it will be 2 n plus r we have uh, to design a two phase signal so n will be 2 2 into 2 plus 12 which is 16 second is the total loss uh, time okay after that uh, optimum cycle time it will be given as 1.5 multiplied by l plus 5 divided by 1 minus y so uh, it will be equal to 1.5 uh, into 16 plus 5 divided by 1 minus 0 0.62 okay so its value is equal 76.3 seconds let us uh, say it to be equal to 76.5 second this will be the optimum cycle time okay so green time for road A, it will be given as YA multiplied by C0 minus L divided by Y. So it is equal 0 0.32 uh, multiplied by 76.5 minus 16 divided by 0 0.62. So its value is equal to 31 seconds. This is the green time for road A. Similarly, green uh, time for road B, 
it will be equal to yp multiplied by c0 minus l divided by y which is equal to 0.3 multiplied by 76.5 minus 16 divided by 0.62 which is equal 29.5 second this is the green time for road b okay we have been already given that uh, we have to assume the all red time r for the pedestrian crossing as 12 seconds so let us take r as 12 seconds and let us assume that amber time is equal to 2 seconds. Amber time is given for the clearance of vehicle. So let us assume it to be 2 seconds. So total cycle time will be equal to GA plus GB. That is green time for phase A. G, a green time for phase B plus all red time plus amber time for phase A plus amber time for phase B. So its value will be 31 plus 29.5 plus 12 plus 2 plus 2 which is equal to 76.5 second which is the optimum cycle time okay you can see the diagram uh, showing the green time amber time okay and red time for the phase a and b okay so green time a uh, for phase a plus amber time for uh, phase a it will be equal to red time for phase b and similarly green time for phase b plus amber time for phase b it will be equal to uh, red time for the phase a okay and all red time it will be constant because during this time all the signals will show red and it is the time used for pedestrian crossing it is assumed as 12 seconds okay so this is how you can design a true phase traffic signal by Webster's method. I hope this solution video was clear and you definitely learned something new. If you still have doubts, you can write them in the comment box and I will try my best to solve your doubts. Okay, and if you found out this video helpful, you can like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.